How are you guys all doing? EC22X here again with another video. We are bringing you another cool team. This time we are having Swamper as our very unique. We're also trying Cortana once again, but we're bringing back two favorites, Comfy and Moltres. If you haven't checked Victory Rose rental team, Comfy and Moltres are very, very popular. We're doing a very classic uh, combo of uh, weakness policy and training keys on with, Mol with Comfy because you can fake out Comfy. Like, you can't count. I'm pretty sure 3H makes training keys a plus three. Like, 3H makes uh, training keys a plus three priority. So it even goes before Pranster taunt. I'm like 90% sure. Ne no one taunt. Because, yeah, because everyone taunted me after. So this is very, very huge. There's no way for really stopping Comfy. Um, except for, like, you know, make sure to outspeed the Pokemon next to it instead. And yeah, this is why I really like Comfy. It's is very, pretty, pretty uh, versatile. Probably one of the best Pokemon to use to proc your weakness policy. Uh, we did add Ancient Power into this Moltres to do the rock coverage. And we have Cortana to... I just wanted to like start making Cortana work. Uh, I actually haven't. But our MVP, okay? Our MVP of these battles is going to be Swamper. I know, very unexpected. Uh, the reason why we're going to go for Swamper is because I wanted to try that out instead of a Gastrodon. I do believe Gastrodon it brings a lot, but at the same time, I just thought was like I don't really need Gastrodon, right? So we're bringing gas. Uh, we're bringing Swamper instead for the coverage for Ice, Water, and EQ. Pretty huge. Uh, we can do a combo of Moltres and Swamper together. We also have Tapu Coco. This is Aku Poco. It actually, you know, we don't want to get sleep. So very, very important to use Electro Wake for speed control. Um, and then we bring Incineroar. Incineroar is going to be very important because we have to deal with Metagross, the Glass Tears, the Taunt, the Parting Shot, the Intimidate. Very, very few things we're going to be needing. And that's how we're going to be using it. But yeah, if you're not ever, ever sure what to do, I will say Moltres Comfy is one of your best stars. Let's showcase this team right now. Alright, we got our first battle. And like I said, I apologize for the fake known Galarian Moltres sprite. Uh, my usual site that I use the sprites for is not working and this one that I use even though it's kind of basic Looks like a lower quality. So I'm gonna have to do something about it, but we got wow That's a I think that's a print bolt up sore Bolt up sore tender is a uh, metagross Incineroar or she for expectrier and tapu fini So at the time I was doing this video and you guys will hear it because I'm a little bit behind uh, Expector actually started getting a little bit of rise. Not enough though to make it like probably top 10, but this horse is like the fastest version and it's really, really cool because it has a couple, like, it knows Taunt, it knows will of Wins, so it's a really good combination. But we honestly, our current team is a very, very good team against them. Um, they only got a couple things where we might not expect them to bring, but our, our team actually on paper looks really, really solid against them. So let's see what they start. So they start Metagross Thunders. Um, it's actually pretty cool. So we did start Tapu Koko Swamper. Uh, Tapu Koko actually won't be as useful because of the Bolted Sword on, on it. And it's actually very interesting that they're pairing it. Um, I don't know if they actually gonna like probably weakness policy Metagross. So we're not gonna like go for Electro Web, right? Uh, Swamper, Swamper doesn't need to... Outspeed, we really don't need to pull switch. Um, actually, no, did I actually do that move? I didn't do that move. Yeah, we do Dash and Gleam, which does jack shit. But we, the reason why we do Dash and Gleam is because in case either of uh, the Thunderous has Sash, because I'm pretty sure it does, we're gonna ignore the Metagross and we're gonna go for Thunderous. So we break the Sash if it's Sash it. Um, yeah, I was right. It's probably gonna try procting his weakness policy, maybe, or doing something different. But our Swamper should survive a Max Quake for Metagross right now. And if Metagross went for for our Tapu Coco, Tapu Coco has um, a Shuka Berry, so Tapu Coco should be pretty good too regarding that. 
The, the goal here is actually to KO Tundurus first. And if you have watched my previous videos, I also talk about how like people really like to Dynamax turn one. I don't always agree with that, but my, obviously if your team is built to like probably Dynamax turn one with the chance of the other opponent Dynamax turn one, it's actually pretty huge. So we get the Dazzling Gleam, uh, not very effective, which is fine. Yeah, they went for the Brutal Swing, so they are procting their own weakness policy. Uh, that sucks, but we should kill the Thunderous now, which is what we wanted to. They max Quake, so they're faster too. Okay, so we kill Thunderous, we can Electro Web uh, Metagross so that our Swamper is faster. Max Hellstorm into... Oh, actually, I was going for Hellstorm. Yeah, I mean, that's the best thing I can will. Okay, so Thunderous is dead, which is huge. We needed that We needed that guy to be dead. Uh, he was the fastest Pokemon on their size. I don't think they have anything faster. I'm not sure, but we're probably going to Electro Web uh, this turn. Now that we, you know, are safe from the uh, Bull Absorb. What have you brought in the back? So they brought Tapu Fini. Um, they take my terrain out. Not the worst thing. There's a chance that they're gonna protect Tapu Fini or Calm Mine. Uh, so I'm gonna sacrifice Moltres because I feel like Metagross might try to Actually, I know I said Electro Bear with but I think Metagross is actually gonna come for my Swamper. We definitely not survive another Max Quake, but you know what? No, no, no. I think Metagross is gonna go for Coco because they have to get rid of uh, my fin uh, my Coco because they it, it hurts their Finny. So that's why we bring Moltres. Assuming that they're gonna actually go for Max Quake, Fini protects, which I expected. Did I get rid of this? Let's go. We read that perfectly. Then we get a, ma a free Max Quake into Metagross this turn. Uh, we do not KO, but that doesn't matter. It's dead next turn because we're gonna fear Graph it. Um, we could protect our Swamper, but our Swamper can die too, because Moltres is faster. So they can't protect their Fini. Uh, Metagross is gonna die to Fury Breath. Uh, and, and yeah, I mean, we do Fury Breath, kills Metagross, and we probably go. Do we give the water to Fini? I don't wanna give water to Fini. Okay, I mean, we're just gonna Max Quake. I didn't want to give them the Max Geyser. Fairy Graph, let's go. And then we... Are we faster than the Fini? Here's the important thing. If the Fini is faster, I mean, I still think we did enough damage that it doesn't matter. But that's actually important to know. Oh, and we get the flinch! That's huge. Okay, so that's huge. Getting the flinch... Um... Yeah, it's dead next turn. Okay, so Swamper... Swamper will die next turn if they have something faster or if the Fin... Uh, yeah, if they have something faster, Swamper will die next turn. Um, but that's their Dynamax turn. Finny... Finny's dead because they were in range of hell. Okay, never mind. Um, what, else, what was their last Pokemon now? But it's actually pretty huge. The Flinch, I think, is very important. Uh, especially if they outspeed my Swamper. Swamper is not that fast. So that Urshifur. Mm. I could just EQ. So unless they have Sucker Punch. Um, oh, it's a Water Urshifu. So unless they have Sucker... Wait, no, I don't... I didn't check. Anyway. I could EQ or Liquidation or Ice Punch. Let's just EQ. Go for damage. Maybe cancel the battle. But yeah, GG to my opponent. Uh, the read was actually pretty huge. I think that, and the flinch was pretty huge too. Okay, I'm um, actually not sure what to expect about this team. This is actually a really, really interesting team. Uh, we definitely want to bring, bring in uh, Incinerator. 
uh, because of the glacier. Very important. Glacier is bulky and it's a very, very slow game. So this is going to actually be a really, really slow game for us. Comfy Moltres is not a bad idea because we can we don't have to worry about speed so if we can decrease the special defense it's actually pretty good so probably incinerator in the back in case they don't want uh glacier right away and <sighs> i don't know if they're gonna bring mimikyu if they bring mimikyu that's fine too i think mimikyu is a trick room mimikyu i don't think they're gonna bring nidoking I think actually no no they definitely bring Nido King so we're gonna bring Swamper at the back too. So I am 100% sure they're gonna be Glaster. I'm 100% sure they're gonna be bringing Mimikyu because that's probably their tick room sector. And I'm 100% sure that they bring Nido King because of uh, Moltres. So they start both Corona and Mimikyu. Okay, so usually. Here is where I would like Drainy Keys, Fury Wrath, but we I need that stupid uh, this guy's gone. So we're gonna Drainy Keys Mimikyu, and then we're hoping. I I don't agree where I Dynamax here, but I was trying to get Mimikyu dying, and I realized like I shouldn't have gone down and I should have gone for the Volcarona instead. So this is a little bit of a misplay from my part for allowing Trick Room to set up, but I also have. They don't have anything to really kill my comfy, so I can also reverse the trick room if I wanted to. Which is actually pretty huge and very important. But yeah, ideally here, I should have gone for the Volcarona. So draining kiss. This guy's out. How much damage do we do? Oh, their Volca is faster. Okay, okay. Their Volca Rona is faster. Um, so this is actually really good for us. At least until they bring their other Pokemon. So what is going to happen is I can reverse Trick Room and kill more Corona because I don't think Mimikyu can kill my Comfy. So what we're going to be probably doing is... Because I don't want to... Do I need to proc my own Witness policy? I don't think I need to proc my own. So we're going to Trick Room again. And Max Rocks fall into Volcar... Wait, no. I want to be faster. I want to be faster. So... Mm. What if it's Sash, though? If it's Sash... Yeah, so in case it's Sash, we are going to have the, the thing. So we went for Play Rough. Doesn't miss it. Doesn't do anything to our Comfy. That's what I thought. We're going to Max Rock fall. Sit up. Yeah, it is Sash. That's what I was worried about. Oh, so annoying about that. So they, they could kill my Comfy here. Unless they went for... So they went for Heatway again. Yeah, they killed my Comfy. And they get the burn. Wow. So then killing Comfy is very unfortunate. The, the Probably the smarter thing was probably try to kill a turn one. So that's on my second turn of Dynamax. I have one more, and I'm pretty sure they're bringing Glastier now. So what I should be trying to do is probably, probably kill their Mimikyu. So I, we can see what their last Pokemon is. Yeah, so they broke Glastier. There we go. Intimidate. So Glacier probably will kill. I wonder if they're gonna go for Moltres. So I know Incinero can survive. Um. Yeah, Incinero will survive whatever Glacier does to it. Um. So I'm not worried about that. I think we're slower than Mimikyu. So maybe we'll get that parting shot in case they double into our Incineroar. Or they change the weather. I wonder if they're going to change the weather to a uh, Hellstorm. But yeah, the horse is already at minus one. 
Maybe dull eyes. Wow. This is a really be very weird mini Q. So they decrease our attack. I don't agree with that. They max quake. Yeah. So they max quake into our incineroar, which is completely fine. Incineroar survives that. We get a free parting shot. And I think, like I said, special defense rolls. I really don't care about their spe speed if. Because our incineroar, incineroar is going to be the one thing we're going to use to kill that. So now it's a minus two uh, special attack. And we should be able to KO their uh, Mimikyu this turn. We are going to probably lose Swamper though. Well, and I think what? That's, this is turn 4 of Dynamax. Uh, so we probably could double protect next turn. So they can trick, uh, set up Trick Room again for us. Which is pretty huge in my opinion. Uh... What I can do is probably return my Moltres and bring Incineroar again so that the Glacier is at minus three. Yeah, they brought the Nukin. Yeah, Volcarona was the only Pokemon I wasn't sure that we we're gonna bring, but it was probably a Rage Powder Volcarona and they saw that I have Fury Breath, so there was no point. I think I took a risk because I should have double protected here instead. Instead of returning. I don't agree with uh, what this play with it, but I knew they were not gonna max Quake into my Moltres. And then we get Freak. If Incineroar doesn't die, we get uh, Fake Out Pressure, which is huge. We got Attack Fail. This is minus three. We got to Protect. Yup. Max Hellstorm. Okay, that's fine. Into Swamper. Okay, that shouldn't do much. Yeah. Uh, and that's our last turn of Dynamax. What is Nidoki gonna do? Nidoki went for Poison Jab. This is huge. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Um. So this is actually pretty cool. Because... I can actually return Incineroar if I wanted to. Or I could go for a move. You know, I would just go for EQ. I think EQ is worth it. Yeah, we're gonna do EQ. Um, I think Incineroar has to stay alive. So, let's see what they do. Let's see if they max Quake into Moltres. They max Steel Spike into... Swamper, that's actually really weird. I don't agree with that move. But that's like a minus four. Minus four. Um, <laughs> minus four. So we go for Earthquake. If we kill Nidokin, it's actually pretty huge. Oof, we didn't kill Nidokin. Okay. It is what it is. So they Stone Edge. Yikes. Oh, but we die because of the burn. Man, we died to the burn. So sad. I can't believe they got that burn. That's just very unfortunate. If we hadn't had this burn, we would have gone first. Oh, they were alive for Nido King. Okay, cool, cool. This is actually, I didn't notice. I didn't notice. So this is actually pretty good. It's just, it will be so much better had we not had the, oh wait, never mind. There was hell. Hell will have killed us. Yeah, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. But this is actually pretty huge. Because... That's our last turn of Dynamax. They're at minus four, minus five. I lost count. This this horse is gonna do jack shit to us. Um, this is why it's so important to have an Intimidator user still in the team because of the horsey. So if you ever struggle to beat a horsey, yeah, it's a minus four. This is what you do. You cycle some Intimidates. You try to read your opponent. Um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna go protect. Just to waste turns, but I don't know why. We're gonna go for Fake Out. But yeah, Swamper, Swamper and Incinero, yeah. I, I never understand why people do that. Because, do they think they can crit me and win? Because that's two for one. I, I don't know how their, their win condition is possible. Um, maybe they go for a double protect and Incinero or die somehow? No, they're still like, even with hell. Yeah, I don't know what's the point of protecting, to be honest. 
There's two more turns of fail. Uh, we're just gonna liquidation and flare bits. I could be an ass on parting shot, but we wanna kill. So they're plus one defense. That's not a lot of damage. But but we get a minus one defense and it's huge because they had a plus one defense. They should kill. I am pretty sure they were gonna try hard horsing my uh, my incineroar, and I, I and I mean I, we still had the berry, but yeah, then it was they. I think they had to like no actually. Okay, so last team that we're showcasing in this YouTube video is a uh, Thunderous Defiant Thunderous. We got Sandcore with Excadrill and. Uh, Titar, their own Incineroar, Togekiss, and Rotten Wash. So I definitely bring Incineroar in the back. And Cortana, yeah. Cortana probably is pretty good. I think we start with Swamper too. I think Swamper at the start is really good. Um, I don't think we bring Moltres. I don't think Moltres is that good here. I also just noticed how many genderless Pokemons I have. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's the team I won. So let's see how this goes. I wish I could speed up this part. Okay, so this start Togekiss, Rotom. Um, so what I'm I'm pretty sure what they're gonna do is nasty plot follow me, and that's absolutely fine with me. I can just ice punch. And do I need comfy here? I don't think I need comfy. Hmm. Comfy is not that useful here. Comfy definitely is not that useful here, in my opinion. Mm. So we get a free swap. Yeah, probably Cortana. We probably want Cortana. I went for follow me. Yep. Nasty plot. I wonder if a better decision is probably maybe Dynamax turn one for killing that dog escape. But we got AV on Cartana. Okay, so Cartana will kill Togekiss next turn. Well, this turn. And we're just gonna Ice Punch. I'm pretty sure he's gonna Dynamax. So I wanna. I could bring Incineroar, even though it's kind of useless at this point. I should have probably done Incineroar. Done a, like a double swap instead. But it is what it is. Because um, he's not going to Hydro Pump Cortana. He's probably going to want Thunderbolt. Yeah, I don't think he can kill Cortana though. So in case they don't go follow me, in case they, they read it, we're going to go Max Overgrown. Togekiss dies these turns regardless. And then their their um We we should be able we, we are faster than Rotom. So once they don't have their follow me, we we're goody. Look at that. Cortana is so pretty. And then yeah, made that message. So they they should have what? Max Lightning, Max Geyser, or um Maybe they're that odd rotten max uh, max darkness. <sighs> Katana is squishy, but we also have AB, so that shouldn't be hurting so much. Do they follow me? Yeah, they follow me. Um, we set up max overgrown, which is fine because max overgrown will be doing more damage next turn. That's why we also went for max overgrown this turn. We didn't need the, we didn't need. Um, 
the, the fence. We, we wanted the terrain. And I don't think they had any grass Pokemon, so I don't think they... Actually, I don't remember they had any grass Pokemon. But this is actually pretty huge. Uh, we get our boost. They max Geyser us into, I mean, Kartana. Yeah, that's nothing. Not even a yellow. And it's actually pretty good for us because now we are gonna be pretty much set. We get a nice punch. <sighs> nothing, but it's okay. Oh, but we get the froze! Freeze! Oh my god! That's actually pretty huge. Okay, so we can. We can max overgrown freely and kill that Rotom. Uh, actually, what are, what is their next Pokemon? Uh, Incinor, let's go. This is actually huge. I mean, it sucks, but I'm gonna get the boost back after killing this thing. And then we can bring our own Incineroar if we wanted to, or Comfy to heal our Cartana. Um... It doesn't matter. The I think we win because of that freeze, which sucks. Cause I will hate. I hate when that happens. But I mean, Max Knock will probably go up kill uh, Incineroar potentially too. But yeah, we get that freeze swap, and then we're just gonna kill Rotom Wash because he can't protect. He's gonna be frozen this turn. Dude, it actually like stays frizz, uh, like frozen like that, and it's so funny. Yep. I get one froze. go well actually it was kind of risky to do that to be honest because i think i think like the one that wasn't the one turn freeze but we got lucky so we had to go for it right um so they flare beats but see this is a, the weird thing is i think they should have known i was gonna go for max overgrown and change the feel because doing max geyser they actually nerfed their floor bits um but yeah i can do a max knuckle kill incinerator this turn flora heal my cortana so it stays healthy so it doesn't matter what they have in the back yeah see they brought the uh brought excadrill i don't know why they set up the rain for us i i think that's pretty bad setting the rain but yeah this is ggs Oh, we got lucky. I, I do think that getting that freeze was super, super important for us. But yeah, I enjoyed this team. It, it was a lot of fun. It's a bit, a bit different. Um, I did get help building it. But guys, thank you again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. Bye!